Hi, I'm Ryan Stewart, and I am here with Greg Ruiz, the principal evangelist, one of the principal evangelists here at Adobe. And you're giving a session today in a few minutes on CSS3, right? So can you talk about what that sort of entails and what you're going to be talking about? Sure. So we're actually doing a session called CSS3 Beyond the Basics. So, uh, you know, a lot of people are getting into CSS3, and so what we're going to do is um, take that basic knowledge that they already have and uh, just go, uh, go wild, actually, uh, showing a lot of really cool stuff. So why is CSS3 important for the web and the future of the web? Well, you know, CSS3 is, is just the evolution of CSS, and um, it's going to uh, provide a lot better uh, presentation capabilities for um, designers out there to really get their content ideas across. Um, you know, it's a lot more than just a rounded border, Ryan. <laughs> nice, nice. I can understand that, coming from the Flash world. So what was your favorite part about CSS3 in general, or kind of after seeing their session, what was the most exciting thing to you, feature-wise, for CSS3 that's coming up? Um, one of the things that they talked about that I really liked was that you can declare something like header and say that this is the header color and name it and then just call it that throughout the rest of the site. No more like specifying that font color by 50 million times you know, throughout your whole site when obviously these are the brand colors. They're gonna be the brand colors no matter what. Like I said before, I'm a web developer, really interested in the topic of CSS3. Um, this is kind of like it was an extended session, something I really liked about it actually, that it was longer, more in depth. Uh, well, I'm, I'm an interactive uh, developer, so front end is where I spend most of my time, do a lot of work with CSS3. And uh, I was really interested to see where CSS3 is going to pick up the slack for what I've have, you know, been having to do in jQuery and things like that. Estelle actually showed a cool thing where you can like comma separate values in a CSS3 animation that was like to declare multiple stops in it. And I was like, and she even said, you know, even pros don't know this. I'm like, wow, cool. I didn't know that either. So. All right. That's one more cool panel Adobe's been involved in. So we'll see you on Adobe TV.